When I'm preparing my lower body for any sort of activity, so it could be a squat session in my training, uh, it could be sprint work or hill sprints, things like that, it could be jumping, you know, basketball, you name it, I focus on three key areas. And number one is hips, number two hamstrings, number three ankles. The reason for that, I find those to be the three key areas that are affected uh, the most by maybe a lack of range of motion or tension that builds up. And for me, they just need the most work. They need the most care over time from all the different activities I'm doing. So my three go-tos for your lower body prep, I like to start with the hip circuit. So you're driving one leg back, sending it out to the side, back up nice and tall and down. And as you're driving back, really think about engaging this glute, getting everything turned on. Try to keep your upper body as still as you can and just kind of flow through this, really working your hip through that range of motion. I like to do six to eight repetitions on each side, and I'll do about two or three rounds of this whole lower body prep before I go into my first squat of the day, or if I'm getting ready to go for hill sprints or running. It's just a really helpful thing. So we've got the hip range of motion. Next, moving on to the ankles. So, very simple movement, but it will be challenging for a lot of you. It's called an ankle press. You start in this kind of bear crawl position, press your ankles to the floor, and try to keep your back as straight as you can. Lower back down. I'll do about a two or three second pause at the top. You'll also feel this in the back of your knees. You'll feel it in your hamstrings, and you're just nice controlled. As you can see, my heart rate's already getting up. I'm getting warm. I'm getting ready to go for whatever I got coming up next on the day. So for my ankle press, I like to do anywhere from six to eight repetitions on each side, two or three second hold of each. And the final one is to really top off the hamstrings, one leg out straight, drive one knee in, get those fingers attached below the knee, and then you're pumping up Straightening that leg as hard as you can, three second hold, back down. Straightening that leg as much as you can, three second hold, back down. Six to eight on each side of what I call a hamstring pump, and that's really helping lengthen the hamstring. The fingers attached just give you something to press against, which helps you really straighten things out. And the whole time, you should really be focused on your low back. If you're arching all over the place, you're compensating. Get your low back pressed down to the ground. So, in short, those are three exercises I love to do for lower body prep. Two or three rounds through, about six to eight of each movement, and adding the pauses in where I need to. Just doing that, even one time on demonstration, I'm already starting to warm up. This doesn't have to be a lengthy process, but you should try to spend a few minutes before you get into your higher quality weighted or sport practice you know, work that you have set up for the day because then your first repetition is going to be a lot better and you can start layering in better quality movement earlier instead of having to work out the kinks even further.